Hey, Rob here for QuadraTech. You know, one of the things I love about owning a Jeep, all the amazing places it can take you. Whether that's simply getting out and spending a day on your favorite trail, maybe going to that secret fishing spot, or getting away from it all and heading out for a weekend of camping. What if I told you you could do that all on two wheels instead of four? Today, we're taking a look at the Jeep e-bikes from Quiet Cat. Now, just like your Wrangler or Gladiator, these bikes were designed and built from the ground up to handle any type of terrain you can throw at them. So whether you're simply looking to cruise around town, maybe head out for a day on the trails, or get out there farther away from it all, you can do it all on a Jeep e-bike from Quiet Cat. Now the Jeep e-bikes utilize a torque sensing mid-drive motor that can deliver up to a thousand total watts of power. When you combine that, with the swappable battery built right into the frame of the bike. It's got enough charge to get you out into the backcountry and then back again. Now, before we dive into some of the features of the Jeep e-bikes, of course, you can see we do have two great color options here. You can choose from this graphite gray or this satin red color. The bikes are available in three different frame sizes. So you can choose from a small, medium, or large frame size to accommodate riders of all different stature. And these bikes do come with a 300 pound weight capacity on them. So that means you should be plenty to carry not only you, but some additional gear along with you as well. As you can see, these are a full suspension style mountain bike. So we have an adjustable KKE front fork on here combined with a rock shock on the rear suspension. Both of these feature some adjustability and lockouts so we can change the way that the bike handles depending on the type of terrain that you find yourself riding. We've also got a SRAM 9-speed drivetrain there on the rear. And when it comes to stopping the Jeep e-bikes, well, you're gonna find a massive set of Tektro four-piston hydraulic disc brakes on both the front and rear of the bike there. When it comes to the tires, you can see we've got these large CST26 by 4.8 inch fat tires on these bikes. So they're gonna be able to hold up to any type of terrain that you wanna ride on. And of course, you can even go ahead and air these down just like you would the tires on your Wrangler or Gladiator to get even more traction when you find yourself in soft substrates like maybe sand or snow. Now, before we dive into some of the other features of the motor and the drive system, there is some assembly required when you take your Jeep e-bike out of the box, but I'm confident that you at home can handle this in just a matter of a few minutes, even without being a bike mechanic. Get started by removing the front wheel and tire from the box, set that aside, along with all of the other accessories found in the box. Next, we can lift the frame out and set it down on the ground. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get our handlebars installed by simply removing the four screws that secure the handlebar cap in place, lift the handlebars up, and re-secure them with those screws we just removed. Next, we can go ahead and install the kickstand using the two provided screws. And at this point, we're ready to install the front wheel and tire. We'll start by removing the cap on the axle and then loosen the four screws, securing it in place so that we can slide the axle out of the front fork. Go ahead and align the wheel and tire along with that brake rotor with the brake caliper, slip them into place and slide the axle through the fork and the wheel. Resecure that cap in place and then go ahead and tighten the four screws, securing the axle to the fork. The last thing we really have to do is to go ahead and install the pedals, and that's all it takes to get your Jeep e-bike set up so you'll be ready to ride. Now, if you're planning on bringing your Jeep e-bikes along with you, you do need to plan ahead for that as these are just a bit heavier than your more traditional style bikes. These e-bikes come in weighing at about 70 pounds each. Quiet Cat does have some e-bike racks available. You can check those out by clicking the info button or the link below to head over to quadratech.com. Those are available in your choice of single, double, and even triple bike racks. Quiet Cat packs their Jeep e-bikes with their VPO or variable power output technology. Now that essentially allows you to make this bike fully class compliant no matter where you decide to ride your Jeep e-bike. If you're not fully familiar with those e-bike classes, essentially you have a class one, two, and three regulation that can be put in place depending on where you're riding your bike. With a class one, you're limited to a maximum power output of 750 watts from the motor 
And that can only come in the form of a pedal assist while you're riding up to a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour of assist. In a class two mode, we're still at that 750 watts of power. Again, it's either the pedal assist, but now we can add the addition of a thumb throttle still limited to 20 miles an hour. A class three restriction means that we're still at that 750 watts of output. We can have the pedal assist. We can, again, no longer have the thumb throttle assist there. However, the maximum speed for that assist is bumped up to 28 miles an hour. And with that VPO technology, we can also go in and fully remove the restrictions from the bike. So if you're gonna be riding your e-bike on private property or somewhere that doesn't have any e-bike class restrictions in place, we can put the bike into unlimited mode. That's gonna unleash the full amount of power from that mid-drive motor and allow you to choose how you want that assist to come, whether that's from a pedal assist, from the thumb throttle, or maybe from a combination of both. And in unlimited, unrestricted mode, well, there's no cap on the maximum speed for that assist. If we go ahead and turn on the bike by holding the power button here, we can check out this info screen after the Quiet Cat logo loads up there. You're gonna see we've got things like the amount of charge left in our battery, our speedometer on there, and it's also gonna give us things like the current class that the bike is set to. You can see we're currently in class two with that throttle enabled. Over here on the thumb pad, we've got things like our light button, which is gonna quickly dim the screen. It's great if you're using the bike in low light or nighttime conditions. It's gonna make that a little bit easier to look at. We've also got things like our plus and minus here, which are gonna change the mode from eco to trail to boost. If we hold down the minus button, it's actually gonna put it into a walk assist mode. It's great if you're simply pushing the bike up the trail while you're walking next to it. We've also got the info button here that's gonna allow us to toggle through things like our trip, odometer, our maximum recorded speed, our average speed, the current range from the battery, calories burned while riding, as well as the time while you've been riding the bike. Now to quickly change the mode or the class that the bike is set to, we'll simply double tap the info button to take us into our settings menu. Hit info one more time to take us here to our settings. Toggle down to mode, and here's where we can quickly change from class two down to class one, up to class three or even put it in that unlimited mode. We'll go ahead and toggle back to our main screen here so that we can confirm that we've changed the mode of the bike. Now we are in unlimited mode with the throttle enabled, unleashing the maximum amount of power from that mid-drive motor and allowing you to choose whether you want that pedal assist, use the thumb throttle or a combination of both of them while you're riding with no limit to the maximum speed from that e-assist. Now to change the mode of the bike, you do have to be at a complete standstill. That's simply a safety precaution. Finally, we can check out some of the available accessories for the Jeep e-bikes from Quiet Cat. They have a full range of accessories available for bringing along additional cargo and gear. We can check out their Quick Connect mounting system. The Quick Connect frame mounts to the rear of the bike here and gives us two mounting pucks, one on each side of the bike to attach one of their Quick Connect bags. You can see if we simply pull the loop here, it's going to release it. I can spin it and remove the Quick Connect bag from the mounting puck there. We've got a great weather weatherproof shell on here with heavy duty weatherproof zippers, a great place to bring along some extra gear or maybe some additional clothing on your next outing. And they quickly attach by simply lining them up to that quick connect accessory, spinning to lock them in place. You can adjust how they're mounted if you simply pull that loop so that you can get the best possible configuration with your bags there. You can also add the quick connect spider cradle I have up on top here, features some straps with some buckles. This is a great place to simply secure some oversized cargo on the back of your bike. It would be a great place to maybe mount a small tent for heading out into the backcountry on your Jeep e-bikes. Now, if you want to check out the full range of available accessories, including things like fenders, as well as forward and rear-facing lighting, you can click the info button, head over to quadratech.com. And of course, if you want to get more information or to purchase one of these Jeep e-bikes, you can click that same info button or the link down in the description below. If you guys have any comments or questions about the Jeep e-bikes or any of the accessories I went over today, you can always leave those for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, 
make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so you'll be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail on four wheels or two.